So verification, how is it done? Verification is done by writing a test bench, what is called a test bench around the design under test. Like we, we, let's say there is a design which achieves a video functionality. Okay. So this uh, design is achieving that. Code is written around that. Okay. Code is written around the design. And that code is written in the uh, system web log language. And it's called, the code that is written around is called test bench. And the design from a verification standpoint is called the DUD, design under test. So essentially, system web log is the language that's used to develop this test bench. So what does this test bench have? It has ability to provide stimulus, right? It should provide stimulus to the design, right? So it should have the ability for that. It should have the ability to check, right? That is the purpose of the whole verification, right? And we, when we think about verification, what comes to our mind? Checking. So the test bench should have the capability to check. What else should it have? It should have the ability to track the verification, right? We say there are 10 features, okay? So for the first feature, we should be able to model and provide stimulus. Let's say that our debt is a, a calculator, okay? So somebody has, is telling, a designer is telling us that I've designed a chip which can multiply, which can add, which can divide. So as a verification engineer, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to give operands. We are, we are supposed to come up with what is an operand, the value of the operand, then set the operator. For example, we need to be able to give stimulus to check the add feature. We should be able to give feature stimulus to check each of the features like that. Okay, that is one part of it. The next part is checking. Checking is an independent part. Whether if 5 and 5 are given and add is given as the operator, is 10 coming out? That is checking, right? Then we should we should make sure that all features are tested. That is called coverage. So a language, which is a verification language, should have the ability for doing all of these.